Are you ready for the first street football news show on YouTube? Hi guys, my name is Yofi and welcome to the first episode of Panorama. You see that? Panorama, kind of like a, a 360 of all the street footballers in the world, kind of play of words, Panorama, Pana, because I play Pana and you know, kind of, it, 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 it works, guys, yeah, Pana, Panorama, yeah. So what can you expect? UK street football news, which includes your street zone football news, worldwide street football news from Europe to America to Japan to maybe Fiji if they play street football there. I'm gonna update you on that. Um, videos with Pana, ground moves, Instagram posts, follow me around, interviews, giveaways, and street football events around the world. Every month I'm gonna feature a top three, which is best Pana of the month, best ground move of the month, and best street football photo of the month. So let's get started with the UK street football news. Adidas Be The Different street football campaign is finally coming to London Brixton. It's been popping up in places like Berlin and Stockholm with faces like Zinedine Zidane and his kids, um, the F2 skills twins making appearances. And it's all about 2v2 skills. It's not focused on goals. It's about the best tricks you can do against your opponent. So it's going to be really entertaining to watch. Street footballer Jack from your street zone has already entered with some dope ground move skills to check out. He's going to be part of the Daniel Dennehy's team. I hope I said your name right. Daniel, Daniel Dennehy's. Man, if I said it wrong, just please forgive me and give me another chance, man. Anthony and myself have also entered with a cool in tandem ground moves combo to be part of Kim Football's um, 2v2 team at Be The Difference. So I hope that goes really well. In Manchester last week, some big names came together from the street football scene. And I'm talking Edward Van Gils, Izzy Hitman, Sean Gagne, um, STR Skill School, and shame, a shame that Sufian Bangkok wasn't there. It would have been really good to see him there. They came together to play a futsal match against Manchester Futsal Team. And uh, as you can see, Izzy Hitman just tears up this goalkeeper with an amazing acca. So hopefully there's gonna be more footage on this soon. Also, Kieran Beach filmed the whole futsal match and you can check that out on his YouTube channel. You can click right there. Um, it's not so clear, but if you're hungry for street football like I am, then you'd watch it nevertheless. I really enjoyed watching it and I was just looking out for any skills that were there. Um, also, Sean Gagne has some clips on his channel doing um, half-time street football entertainment, playing against one of the best players from the Manchester Futsal team. And you can see if he gets a panel or not on him. I kind of think, I think you know what the answer is. Um, he also has some footage doing some skills with Kieran Beach and doing some pretty amazing stuff. And you can, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. You can see who gets the panel, either Kieran Beach or Sean Gagne. I'll leave that one to you. And for your street zone news, I've got a new Pan Arena that I'm gonna be taking out to Canterbury next month with the Your Street Zone crew. So there's gonna be some good Pan footage of that coming soon. So if any of you who are watching are local, then you can come check us out on August the 17th for some Pan action right in the middle of Canterbury. For worldwide news, I'm gonna start off with Panna Streets who have opened up an international ground moves competition with the winner getting to be part of their skills battle and hotel and plane paid for. So these guys are serious. So your skills better be serious too. Round one entries end on July the 30th. So depending on when this video is put out, you still might have a bit more time to put your stuff together. Copenhagen Panna House's Licht and Jakob Cornelius have made an absolutely sick video entry for the Adidas Be The Difference competition. Their skills are absolutely on point. Good luck to whoever faces them because they're gonna give you one heck of a good time. Also, you can check out how to learn Jakob Cornelius' signature move, the helicopter. This move is dope, again. And um, if you want to learn how to do it, check it out. It came out a few days ago and boy, is it good. Also for more of CPH, you can go and check out their YouTube. They have a really entertaining and fun to watch 
um, street tour where they go to places like Greece, uh, Croatia and Macedonia and it's really good watch so for any street footballers out there um, you should check that out. It looks like we are in for some street football gold with the likes of Ahi and Randall Paris coming back on the scene aka Street Saiyans. They have some stuff that they're working on and I can't wait to see it personally. These guys are just for me some of the biggest inspirations in street football and so um, anything they come up with I'm just on it and I just can't wait to see it so check it out. Also Jermaine Vandenberg if you don't know you youngsters or anybody out there get to know the name this guy is a serious serious legend of the streets he's made so many moves that are taken for granted almost i think today and we don't give him enough credit he's got this new video where he faces a team from the uk and um, he's just having fun with this defender um, twisting and turning and then he ends up giving him a panner at the end just perfect for me doing what he does best. So now we're gonna end up with the top three of the month. Hmm, what should it be? Crown moves or Panna first? Panna. So the clip I'm about to show you was posted by Street Kings. This month is old, but it was posted this month. And it's back in the days when Panna KO was fresh. One Panna. Two panners. And three panners. This guy's panner career has just officially been ended. Ground move of the month goes to this young man, Rio San 1976. You can see up there. Um, his ground moves are just really cool. He has the spin doctor from Amin B in it and finishes it off with some dope acra at the end. Uh, just a pleasure to watch at such a young age as well. Really cool. Street football photo of the month is gonna go to me. I'm sorry guys, bias, I know, but if you just see the way I left my friend on the floor right here, uh, I'm not going to name names, but uh, you can only imagine what kind of panna I gave him. Hmm. So that's it for today's first episode of Panorama. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was enjoyable. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was enjoyable. So please leave some comments down below and uh, tell me how I could possibly improve it. If there's any other news that I didn't feature or you'd like to be featured possibly in this show, then please hashtag Panorama and I'll be sure to check it out. So that's it, I'm out of here, boom.